All right, today we're going to look at how to generate a map like this in Google Sheets using a series of addresses. We're going to accomplish this using AppScript and the Maps service that Google offers. So first of all, I'm just going to demonstrate this. So first of all, let's just delete this map. And then I have a script menu to get our map. And there we go, there is our end result. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump in. So I have the same Google Sheet here, but this one does not have the app script yet. So we're gonna build that from scratch. All right, so here is our blank app script file. I'm gonna go ahead and make this just a little bigger. So that way it's a little easier for you to follow along. We'll just call this mapping. And then let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm just going to make a quick function called on open. And this will show our script menu. So we just do let UI uh, spreadsheet app dot get UI. And then we'll create a menu. We'll just call this script menu. And then add our item called get map. We'll just call the function get map as well. And then finally add to UI. All right, so that's it for our script menu. And I'll just leave a little thing here, a little comment. And then another comment we'll do, uh, let's just call it map addresses. And then our function get map. All right, so this is going to be our main function. First of all, let's just open up the spreadsheet. So I like to use SS, and then we need to get active spreadsheet. And then let's get that tab or sheet using ss.getSheet by name. And then I believe we called it maps or map. All right, and then let's go ahead. And so what I did here um, on the original was I deleted the map and then did that map loading or mo loading map. So let's go ahead and do that. So sheet dot get range and that is D5 clear content. And then I'm just going to copy that and paste it here and then set value. We'll call it loading map. All right. So now we need to do a couple of things. So we need to start generating our map object that we're going to use here. And then we also need to get this data in here. And so I have this A, B, C, et cetera, because the maps allow you to add a single digit character to your labels. And so this helps you to match which one it is. Um, we could do one through whatever, but um, you can only do zero through nine because you only get to do one. And so I just used A through Y to give us 25 there that you can use. So first of all, let's get this data. And so just to look at where we are. So we're in row 20 and column C. So let's go ahead and get that data, get range. And so there's two ways you can do this. You could do a range like C20 through H. And then you can leave it blank or we could specify the N1, which is 44. You can do either or like this or that. Um, the other way you can do this is, let me just copy and show you real quick, is we can do 20 for the row. And then it tells you here column. So column will be three. Then we could do the number of rows, which would be sheet dot get last row and then minus 19, because we're starting at 20. And then we could do the number of rows we have, or columns we have, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could do either of these, and this both accomplishes the same thing. Just for ease of use for the moment, we'll just stick with this, and we'll do get values. And then we need to iterate through those values and get our map um, markers added. But before we do that, let's just put this up here. We need to actually um, generate our map. 
And so we'll say let map equals maps. And this is Google's map service. And so you can see some options here. So you can also do things like directions and stuff like that. So we're going to do a new static map. And then let's go ahead and set some things here. So for example, we can set the map type and maps dot static map and then type. So we have the different options here. We're going to do go ahead and do terrain and then map set format. And then this one, let's do format and PNG. Finally, let's set a size. And then let's just do 750, 422. That's just an arbitrary one that I came up with for this. All right, so there's our map. We have our map started. And so now we just need to go through our data and actually add it to our map. So we have a static blank map. And now let's iterate through our data. So I'm just gonna use a simple for loop. I'm just using I as my iterator. Data length, I++, plus plus, and there we go. So inside here, I just need to make sure that we actually have an address right here. So we don't have an address, then we don't want that to have it. So I'm gonna say if data, and I'm gonna reference which row it is. So basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna grab all this data, and then it's going to iterate one at a time, one row. So we'll start at zero. And so in that array, this would be zero. And so data i would be data zero. So we'd be looking at this row, and then at the end of it, it goes plus plus, which means i would be one. And so then it'd be looking at this row and so forth. And so within this row, um, we have um, zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So we need to look at, let's just look at street address. So zero, one, two. So within here, let's do two and not equal to blank. And that's what this means, does not equal. And then when you just do two ticks, um, this is two single ticks, or we could do two double ticks like that. Either one is the same. And that just means if it's not blank, then we'll continue. So first of all, I want to add a marker, but I also want to set the marker type. And so I need to do that first before we actually add the marker. So I'm going to do uh, style here. So we have different options. Here's an example option right here. So let's just go ahead and copy this in. Um, but I don't want this one. I actually want our ABC and so forth. And so in our notation, this was the row and then we have zero. So if we do data I zero, then we'll actually be using that. And so let's go ahead and make this a string like that. And this is called a template um, template text here or template literal. Um, and so these dollar sign and these angle brackets allow me to put this inside that text string. All right, so finally we need to now add that marker. So we're gonna do the same thing. This is a note, this is not a single quote, it is a back tick, which is usually on the upper left of your keyboard right below escape. Um, and this is JavaScript notation for being able to use what's these called uh, template literals. So within this, now I can use our other things here. So our street address was two. And then we're just going to copy this street address, comma, city, comma, state, and zip. And so let's go ahead and update these. Three, four, and five. So now we have our markers being added. And so this is gonna iterate through the whole thing. So we can go ahead and bring this up. So when it's gone through each row, made sure that it has a street address, set the marker style with that label, and then actually add the marker. So once it's done that, it's gonna go through all of these, and then it's gonna quit because there's no more street addresses. 
And so to conclude, now we actually need to get that uh, image to put in here. So I'm just going to call this blob because what we're going to do is get blob here. And then let's go ahead and set content type. Let's do image.png set name, which calls map.png. And then let's create that as a file. We're going to create this in our Google Drive so that way we can access it. And we're going to use that blob. And then we need to set the sharing so that way we can access it. So we have drive app access anyone with link. And then let's go ahead and do this drive app permission and view. So this is just to make sure that it'll actually show up for whoever is using the Google Sheet. All right, so now we need to get something so we can make this formula to actually show up. Because right now this file is just living on Google Drive. We need to be able to pull it into our Google Sheet. And so with that, I'm going to use the ID. It's a new file dot get ID. And then I'm going to create my own URL here. So this is going to be our first part of it. You see uh, question mark ID equals. And so what this allows us to do, if we just get the um, URL of that file that we just created, it's not going to allow us to display as an image. And so this prefix allows me to append my ID. Um, and so the ID in Google is just this part um, on those projects. And so if I just combine those, it allows me to have a URL that now I'll be able to use as my image file. So one piece of housekeeping that I'm going to do here, um, because if you use this a couple of times, each time you're going to create a file in Google uh, Drive. And so if you use this 10 times, for example, using different addresses, you're going to wind up with a bunch of files in there. And so we're going to do a little housekeeping. And so I'm going to use property service, which is a way to store data. Uh, and actually will show up in project settings uh, under the script properties. So that's where we're actually going to store that. So what we're going to store here is um, the ID of the file. So let's go ahead and pretend like we already have one saved. Because for all we know, we might have already run this uh, as far as the script knows. So what we're going to do then is we're going to put this in a try thing. And we're going to try to delete that file. And so if it can't find anything, then it's going to error out but we put it in a try, so it's not going to affect us. So set trash equals true. So what we're doing is we're going to reference that ID that we just made here, see if we can find that file. If so, we'll set it as trashed. And then what we'll do is we'll just finish with a catch. And so if it can't find the file, it's just going to move straight on. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to set that property ID, and we're going to set that ID to it. All right, so we're going to say delete old file if existing. And this will be create our map image and save to Google Drive. And then finally, add map image to Google Sheets. And we're going to get our range. D5 set value. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to use this image formula. And we're going to do our template literal and use our URL. All right, so that should do it. Let's go ahead and authorize and run this. So I'm just going to go ahead. So we don't have that menu showing up now because it's on open, it's not run. So there's two ways we could do this. I could close this and just hit refresh. 
or reload on this and then this on open would show up or um, I can just do it from here and then it's going to ask me to authorize at the same time. So either way, you're going to have to authorize the script. So let's go ahead and review permissions. And so Google still has this goofy layout here. Someday, hopefully they'll update that. All right, so once we're done with that, now we have our script menu. So we go up here to get map and it should run for us. There's a loading map. Finish script and there is our map. All right, so everything's up and running working great. So that's all it takes to put together a script to take a series of addresses like this and then put it in. And you can see it has all of our letters starting with A for Empire State Building and so forth. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in guys. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript.